Hi guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back. I am here with my short hair that's brand new. Um, I'm gonna be trying out all new products today. Um, so yeah. Oh, they're too warm, the light's too warm. I've not recorded in ages and forget that I've got to turn down all the warmth on them. Bear with. There we go. Oh my God, I've actually set up my camera for the first time and it's perfect. Oh, I love it. <laughs> I am using my blue light lenses. They basically block lights, like, you know, from your phone screens and stuff like that, because I get headaches and stuff, because I'm constantly on my phone, on my laptop. Um, I'm just using these as basically clips to get out of my hair. Because I'm gonna use them little clips, um, ones that don't put marks in your hair, they're not flat clips, but you can't see my blonde, and this just brings out blonde. Like my blonde at the front. Yeah, I got new hair. Cute, innit? Love it. I'm just gonna start gluing my eyebrows up basically. So I use the got to be glued water resistant spiking glue. I use this because I feel like it's, well number one it's really cheap. Um, it's probably not the best for your brow hairs because it dries the hell out of them. So if you are trying to grow your eyebrow hairs, eyebrow hairs, trying to grow your eyebrows, it'll probably not be the best for you. But it works for me and they look absolutely crazy don't they? Um, I've got really thin brow hair so it works amazing for me. Like they look thick. I dyed them to match my hair because I am now brunette. Like this makes me look more blonde because I've got like my glasses up pushing my hair back so you can see the money piece, what they call it. But it is all brunette now. Especially underneath is really super dark, which it looks so dark when I look at that. I dyed my extensions as well, guys, and they're too dark and I need them warmer. So I'm just going to keep washing them. This is my solution. I'm gonna keep washing them until the dye fades and then I'm gonna put a chocolatey dye on it and I hope that works. Anyway, I've got to show you all the new makeup that I've got, what's been piling up basically. A box of all this makeup, like, I don't know how to go through it either. I think I'm gonna separate it and just choose what I'm gonna go through. Cause if not, it's gonna take absolutely ages. Um, so I've kind of tried to divide it still with options. And this is what my basket looks like. I work out of a basket. Let's start off with the Helen E Double Base uh, Primer in shade two. This is my favorite thing in the world now. So I'm gonna put this on with a P. Louise 707 one devoted to my base. I see this all over their Instagram page. They always use this and I actually really like, like how it applies the product. You guys know I love the MAC 252. They don't do it anymore. Oh, they do, oh, it's not the same because I switched um, to synthetic and it's just not, not the best synthetic in my opinion. I'm just pat, pat, patting that in, like P. Louise would say. But she'd probably say it way better than me. You know what, that's why I love this base. Look how smooth it makes my eye look. And I get really dry eyelids, so. I get eczema, especially on this one. This one's my, my, my problematic eye. But look at the difference. And it's this brush as well, it just makes it easy to apply. I am trying to get a P. Louise discount code for you guys as well. I'm trying. <laughs> um. All the products, hopefully, fingers crossed, will be listed below in the description box. I'm gonna hate myself saying that. Um, and I'm gonna put discount codes next to each one. That's a lot of work, that. Um, so if you wanna buy the products, you can get a discount code. Off the majority of what I'm using today, fingers crossed anyways, if I sort that out. I've got a lot of eyeshadow palettes that I haven't used yet, but I did look at these and I thought, oh my God, these are so cute. And they're so like simplistic. And I thought, they just look cute, don't they? These are the Colourpop, what are they called? Oh, Citrus Fizz and Cream Soda. So I don't know which colours I want to go in with. I am slightly leaning towards the bronzy side, but this one's like a a little bit of rose gold there. I'm going to go for the bronzy one. <laughs> Who am I kidding? I've also got some new brushes sent from Morphe, um, part of their Pride collection. Start off with this one here. Look at the candles as well. Like the handles are just so cute. I love them. So I'm going to start off with the darkest colour. Um, it doesn't have a name on this brush, but it looks like this. And it's definitely synthetic. Uh, I'm going to pop that on. All over. I'm going to go for like... 
I'm gonna say a softer look, but you guys know what soft means in my eyes. I don't really go that soft, to be fair. I have been so, so busy since they opened up restaurants in the UK, like the inside parts and like you're allowed to drink. Um, yeah, I've been out quite a lot to be fair and I'm like, I don't want to see another drink in my life. Um, I, I'm trying to calm down now. I feel like I went to Manchester twice, then went to Leeds. Um, so yeah, I think that's it. Oh, then I went out with my, my sister's birthday for drinks in Sheffield. I get weird hangovers. Like I don't get like the whole grogginess and being sick hangover. Well, I do if I've drunk loads, but... I get more the whole thing of like feeling down the next day and I'm like, oh, I mean, alcohol is a depressant, so it makes sense. I'm gonna go in with the lighter one now. Um, I'm gonna take the Molly O'Brien XM05 brush. Yeah, it is a depressant alcohol, so it does make sense, but I don't know. Oh, I've got an idea though. Why do I always go for rounded? I'm gonna put this all over my lid because why not i don't even know what kind of makeup i'm doing but you're watching it you're enjoying it who actually follows along on my videos so if you follow along on my my um makeup videos let me know about down below in the comments um don't be afraid to comment either sometimes i take one to two days to get back but i always comment back to people especially if they're asking a question i'll always get back to you it's easier to message me through here than instagram these days like everything just gets sent to the request box and I'm just like, I need to get through that. I really do, but I'm only one human being. Oh, what's happening? So, oh, so my laptop's opened some browsers. I don't know why it does this. It just does, it's like, I don't know if there's a virus on it or what. I'm just sort that out because it's telling me for student loans. I mean, I'm not even a student, but thank you. Thanks. It's done it again. I've just sat down and it's done it again. What's it Googling now? Nah. I mean, I'll tell you what it's Googling. Um, Matt what? Matt what? What? It has a mind of its own, literally. And every time like, I open up some websites, it'll be like, we wanna make sure you're not a robot because we have like a suspicion that you're a robot. And I was like, that, my, my laptop's just alive, clearly. My idea is to put the shimmery brown all over my lid, but then this is gonna act as like a base. I wanna do something more no, simple, but probably not simple, but it is simple to me. I don't do a lot of soft glam, do I? I mean, I do if I'm actually going out, yeah, but no, I like to do my colourful creative looks, so. I mean, this is quite easy to follow, in my opinion. It's just putting the dark colour on and blending it out with the light colour. What do you not love about that? Do you know what I'm thinking about right now? I'm thinking about going to M&S and getting some food. Because M&S food, it is actually the best. Like, 10 out of 10. I'm gonna put that bronzy, shimmery colour there. I'm gonna put that on my lid. A bit of that NYX glitter primer on first, though, just so it sticks a little bit more. Just on the centre, because you can just, like, buff it out of the sides. Let's see how this looks. Hopefully it'll look nice. Oh my god, I love that. I mean, I'm not wearing the right clothes for this makeup right now, but... That looks lovely. If I do say so myself. And I'm being quite like loose with this. I'm not really like being really structured with it because it's not like a cut crease or anything, is it? I've got the Physicians Formula. These are like in a set of three. Um, they're just brown like gel eyeliner pencils. I think I'm gonna go in with the darkest one, but satin brown looks more satisfying. I don't know if you can see that the satin brown's a darker one. Yeah, I'm gonna go in with satin brown, so I feel like it'll be more creamy. I mean, I'm just gonna be very stereotypical and do a smoky liner. What else would you expect from me, guys? Nothing or less. Oh, I could use this little tiny one. This is just a Pee Wee's 122. Yeah, 122. I'm just gonna smudge that out onto the lash line. If you've got any questions or anything, holler at me. Oh my god, who said that? Like, literally, I can't remember the last time I've heard that. Holler at me. Because I ain't no holler back.
girl. I used to think that co that song was called Bananas just because it says like the part in it B A N A N A N. This is bananas. I'm not trying to swear on my channel because I know YouTube will not show my video to more people if I swear. I'm gonna use my actual concealer to go underneath my eye though instead of my eye base because we're not going too heavy. Um, this is a Aldi concealer. It's the Lacura. Radiant Concealer. I got this a year ago. It probably is expired, I'm not going to lie. But I haven't used it. I thought, oh my god, because it's supposed to be like the NARS dupe. And I swear to god, I got it for a YouTube video. And I've never used it. And I'm really annoyed at myself. I was like, honey, you've not even used it. But it's like this Molly O'Brien box, I think. M034. This is quite a new brush. And I am obsessed with it. The, the, the synthetic hair on this is the softest thing ever. Oh my god. No irritation underneath my eye whatsoever. And you guys know I've got sensitive ass eyes. So it's got the stamp for approval from me. Oh, I'm getting a discount code for them as well. 25% off. So it might be in the description box below when I'm posting this. If not, you'll have to like check out my Instagram discount code things. And I've got like... On the highlights on Instagram, I've got like a discount code part. Click on that and you should come up with everything. I should have it all down below in the description box anyways, but I might have extra ones on my Instagram, which is just literally a blend by hand. So I'm going to pop this in the waterline and hopefully it'll grab a hold of it. Or I might put the matte one on if it's not going to... I've been seeing everybody using like, for years, brown the waterline. I'm like, oh, I'm not going to use brown the waterline. Because usually it comes... Oh, it comes off really red on my eyes. And I'm like, well, it makes me look like I've got an, like, an eye problem. A pink eye or something. I'll put it a little bit below as well. Just so I can smudge it out with that little pen pencil brush. No, that, oh my god, that, my eyes look so like smoky, but in a good way, I love it. It's the hair, it's the vibe. Someone said I look like I've got Rachel Green hair, and I was like, oh my god. That is just like the best compliment ever. I'm like, yes, please. I still haven't watched the Friends reunion either. I thought it was on Netflix, but then my mum and dad were like, no, it's not. Well, my mum, my dad don't watch Friends. Um, yeah, my mum were like, no, it's on Now TV. And I was like, oh, well, have I missed it or something? So I like saying it to, what is it, that stick, Now TV stick, like Friends reunion and nothing were coming up. And I can't believe Lady Gaga were on it as well. I was like, oh my God, yes. That is like everything. <laughs> So then I'm gonna, should I go, I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna use this brush that I used first, but nothing extra on it. So I've not got anything extra on it, I'm just gonna go underneath. And kinda like, use the residue. I'm gonna pop on these lashes. Look at them lashes. Don't they look divine? These are the Technic Lux Faux Mink 3D lashes. Now when it says Faux Mink, I was like, oh my God. They look so lovely and soft and fluffy. Like how fluffy they look. It's like, oh my God. <gasps> oh yeah, I lo love them. I'm gonna use a new glue as well. Um, Eldara Lash Adhesive. They sent me a couple of their lashes. But I really want to try these ones out today. Um, this is a eyelash glue that is free from latex, from, from Waterline, can't say that. Um, paraben and Pephalite, can't say that. Free hyperallergenic. Hyper hyper I can't say it. Hyperallergenic and waterproof. Ooh. I don't know how I feel about it being waterproof though. It kind of scares me because my eyes are so sensitive. I'm not really fussed about mascaras, but I'm pretty sure this is Mascara Beauty. Um, real thick lash mega volume mascara. So I'm just going to try this. This is my first time trying this as well. This is quite alright, this mascara. I mean, I don't put too much on anyways, but it's actually like making them appear like they're there. <laughs> I'm just tweak it a bit. Oh, that's gone on so much nicer. They're not perfectly curled to my eye though. That's the only thing that I would say is a downside, but they are really nice and fluffy. I'm using this for the primer today. This is a matte cream. I don't know how the hell to pronounce the brand name. But I'm just going to do a close-up for you guys. It's Korean Skin Therapy. Um, yeah, and it, like they just contacted me saying, do you want to try it out? And I was like, oh, 
Of course I would. Why not? Oh, so it's like a like a paste kind of thing. Like not like a paste, but like a gel consistency. I'm right, gonna just pull up some skin. And I definitely want to try it because it's like it's from Korea. Korea? Yeah, Korean skin therapy. So I was like, oh, because they have really good like skin stuff, don't they? So I was like, oh my god, I'll try that. Mm, kind of smells like soap. Sounds weird to say, but it literally just smells like a bar of soap. That is very matte. Like, there's not a lot of shine on my face, really, is there? I've got a little bit of my forehead, but, but that has literally took all the shine away. Foundation. I'm going to mix these two Maybelline ones. This is the new Super Stay Active Wear in the colour 36. It's not new. It's been out since February, isn't it? And this is the Dream Urban Cover uh, Foundation in the colour 220 Natural Beige. So, I basically want to mix these two because I thought, oh, if I'm putting a matte... If I'm putting a matte foundation on and a matte primer on, it's gonna look too much. So I thought, oh, let me get something that's a little bit more glowy and mix it in. So I'm gonna use, get these foundation brushes over here. I'm gonna use the Molly O'Brien Daz M016 brush. I love this brush to death. It is the best for foundation. Like, it's good for like, if you want it to be like, a little tiny, 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 tiny bit sheared out, but you don't like using sponges. Like this is the brush, and you can literally whack it on like this, and there'll be no streak lines or anything. I saw someone use this on Instagram Story, and she like used it. And I was like, how the hell do you have no like streak lines on your face? So I thought, oh, I'll try because I got that brush. I normally use this for like powder bronzer, cause I like the shade for it for like a powder bronzer. But I used it for this, and I was like, wow. And I was like, oh my god, yeah, this is my new favourite. Because I used to love this one, but now I use this for cream contour. I still love that one for foundation though. I've got one for my freelance makeup kit. Because I was like, oh my god, this is such a good brush. Like, I just need another one, 100%. I need to do a new favourite video because I feel like I've got so many products that I've used and I haven't showed you guys. We've also come out with this new brush. It's the Mini P. This is the M029. So it's basically a mini version of that P brush that they do. I'm going to use this for concealer underneath because I've seen so many use it for concealer on Instagram. I'm always on Instagram if you haven't noticed. <laughs> this is the, again, I'm going to use the Aldea Liqueur Radiant Concealer in the colour Latte. I feel like this was like £6 or something. Like £5.99 or something. I'm just going to dip it in with this. Probably this will be better because it's like more full coverage though. Because like when you sponge it kind of gets rid of it. But I'm going to put it on with this first and then... See how I feel, because I never just use a brush underneath the eye. Like I just, it just feels weird. Maybe I put too much on though, because like with a sponge it takes it away. But oh my god, actually, if you just pat it, it kind of blends itself in. Put it up my nose here as well, just to make it look a little bit thinner. I mean, I'm going to put a tiny bit more eyeshadow on, because I always do that after I put concealer on, but it's actually done all right. That concealer's really nice. Put a little bit more there though. She's got some dark circles today. I've been having trouble with sleeping. Like I just need to catch up on my sleep because I feel like it's just, do you know when you like miss an hour one night and then you keep missing an hour every single night? It adds up, it really does. Like the week after I was like, whoa, I'm so tired and I kept yawning constantly. I was like, right, I need to sort my sleeping patterns out. It's ridiculous. It's quite a little small brush, this though, isn't it? I'm gonna pat that down there. I mean, I prefer it for underneath the eye. I'm just buff on top of my foundation. So I have this, which is brand new. I've used it once or twice. This is the Be Perfect Times Jack Josa Shape Stick in the colour Mocha. Um, and I've got the latte colour as well. But I've also got sent these. And I, saw, I got sent this whole collection ages ago. I haven't even used it. I feel really bad. Um, this is the Diego Della Palma um, brand. And this is the My Second Skin. Um, they're like Face and Body by Mac. That's how i describe it. Like, it's very liquidy. So I might try a little bit on the back of my hand of the medium to dark. Because it is like quite a dark colour. I could use that as like a bronzy contour. Um, like a liquid contour. I've not just done that. I have not just done that. Oh, thank God. I thought I got it all over this jumper. I was like, the amount of makeup I got on this jumper, I just like, stresses me out. I'm going to take my foundation brush and just see 
how it looks if we just put a little bit on. You can see it, but you can't see it. Like it's there, but I think I'll prefer the creamer, the cream side. I think it's nice for like a subtle, you can see it. It's very subtle though, isn't it? May I try some up here as well? I think because it shears out so easily, you won't be able to see it that much, but it does pick it up slightly on camera, doesn't it? Nice if like, if I was slightly lighter, it'd turn up a little bit darker on me, but because I'm tanned, it's not showing up that much. It's like very, 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 very natural. I might just put it underneath my chin, in fact, because if it's quite natural, it'll look really nice underneath there instead of putting that cream one. Try the other one on this side. This is, yeah, the Stick by Be Perfect in the colour Mocha. Um, should we try that? This is quite like sheer as well because it's like a cream bronzer. The Molly O'Brien M015, just to literally tap it in. Sometimes it's better to put it on the back of your hand first, but because this is quite sheer, I just like to tap it in. So it blends in quite easily because it's not like um, a foundation. There's like not a lot of like, oh, it looks so nice. There's not a lot of like ridiculous pigment to it. It is like a bronzy pigment. Does that make sense? I'm just tapping this in. Yeah, I definitely don't need to put anything in my brows, they're fine. Yeah, I think I do prefer this side because it's more apparent that I've got it on. This is nice for like a more natural thing, but let's put this on. Oh, this brush is so soft. Like, I feel like if I was using any other brush, it'd like stab me and this is just like, oh, no, it's fine, I'm just patting it in. And it is actually the perfect size for like cream contour. I am chatting your ears off today, guys. I really am, aren't I? I just want to do like, I need to do a makeup live on Instagram. The last one I did, well, the, that's not my course because I do makeup classes online now. Um, they're very in-depth and not like my YouTube videos. Yeah, the last time I went live was, I think it was my birthday. Was it my birthday? Because I, 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 my birthday was on the 6th of April and I couldn't do anything for it because we were still in like the UK lockdown. So I couldn't do anything for it. I could get a takeaway, but that's about it. So I've been loving using the P. Louise bases, specifically this one and the pink one. This is Pretentious Peach. Love to use this as a cream blush. Not found anything easier to use other than like the base. I've just put a little bit on the back of my hand. I use the Molly O'Brien Lily M010 brush. I told you I love these brushes. I'm just gonna tap it on the back of my hand like that. I'm just gonna ever so slightly but I can see what it's recording. It looks absolutely amazing. I put a little bit on my nose. I think I put too much. So I'm just gonna put a little bit more of that cream bronzer over it. So, so it gets rid of it. I like a little bit of like color though to my skin. I'm gonna pat that out with a sponge. Like how nice does my skin look so far? And we've not used any powders. Like it doesn't look ridiculously like, I'm a combination skin. We put that matte cream on and it's kind of like, it's done its job, hasn't it? Like, like if you're oily and you want to wear cream products, you can with that matte cream. Look how big it is as well. It's the best biggest my face. Got a big face, guys. I've got a big face. Should I put a cream highlight on? I feel like you're saying yes throughout the screen, even though I'm I'm on my own at the moment filming. I feel like I can hear you saying yes. So this is the Inglot Times Mara um, Elements Collection. This is in the colour. Which one? Oh, Golden Hours. Like warm it up in between my fingers. And I'll just pop it on. And just tap it in. And it just gives that wet look, but not ridiculously wet. It just, it looks beautiful. It really does. It's like, if you don't like highlighter, this is the highlighter for you, basically. Like, it just goes on so nice. Like, if I put on the nose there, you've ever seen more on the nose when I put it there. It just in person is the nicest looking highlight ever. I've got these Technic Colour Fix water resisting pressed powders. I've got the shades. Oh, it's vegan. I love that. Oh, I've got the shades Cashew and Pecan. I feel like I'll go for the darker one, but I don't know if that's going to be too light underneath my eye. Right, I'm going to try the lighter one first, which is the colour Cashew MAC 133 brush. Just to see. Oh. Oh my god, that's so much. I don't mind that. Oh, no, I want to go a little bit darker. 
It's looking too obvious. I don't like it when it's too like, look at my under eye, oh my God. When it's too like white, white underneath my eye, I don't like it. I like it to be bright, but not intense. Waterproof as well, so it'll do its job. My, my under eye is still highlighted though. For bronzer, I love this packaging. Look how big and chunky that is. I like a big chunky package. Um, Unless it's a nice shape, then the thinner the better. The Be Perfect Jack Joe's their bronzer for the face and body in Mykonos. Is Mykonos? Yeah. This is quite dark. Very misleading for a baked bronzer. It's dark. First time I put it on, I'm used to using baked powders and just like hammering it on. Don't, don't do that. Don't. Unless you are darker skin, I would not do that. <laughs> It's good though, because like dark skin can wear it though, so that's a good thing, but be careful. Like it is, she's pigmented for a baked bronzer, that's all I'm saying, I'm just going to tap it on like that instead. So I'm just using a tapping motion to put it on. You've just got to be careful, because if not, it can go on really, really quick and really dark and you don't talk patchy or anything. So it's very pigmented, this bronzer. I don't know if they do it in a lighter colour, I'll have to look. But yeah, I'm a brand new ambassador for Be Perfect, so they sent me this out. I think maybe it's because I'm just not used to going like dark with my bronze. I like to go bronzy, not like a dark. I don't know how to explain it. It's very, it's very like pigmented, and I'm, I'm, I'm used to going for a more soft bronze, so I can just go <laughs> whack it on. My usual um, Studio Fix face powder on because I need to. Go underneath that bronzer a bit, just so it's blending in. Just tapping that on. Diego Dalla Palma Blush Trio. Look how cute that looks. It gives him a little Dalmatian print on the wall. Oh my god, it's got sunny again. It looks so nice on my camera when it gets sunny outside. I just wish I had a bigger mirror. Mirror? I wish I had a bigger window, sorry. So I'm gonna like, I'm gonna do the middle one first. I'm just gonna like tap that on. This is the P. Louise 638 brush. I'm actually just tapping that. I've got a little bit on my nose. That's the like quite, that's the like more like sheen one. But I like a like nice sheen. Sometimes I, I like to wear just like a glowy br like blush and then no like highlight. I feel like it looks so much more fresh. I, look, I feel like I look younger. Cause I've got to that stage now, I'm 24 years old. I'm not, I'm not old, I know I'm not old, but like. <laughs> I'm using the Technic Mega Glow Highlighter Illuminator. This is like a little palette. I'm gonna probably use a mixture of these two. It's like a bronzy and then a, like a goldy rather than this is too gold for my skin. I'm using the Molly O'Brien Jax M033. This is brand new, like she just sent it to me. I used this one normally, the My Kitco one, but I wanna try something new out today. I'm just mixing those two together and then just pop it on while I'm very, very slow. Oh, this is like, oh. Hannah, don't go get, I'm gonna go mainly the dark one now. Yeah, the dark one looks nice. So like that one there looks nice on my skin. I don't like it when it looks too white on my skin. It's looking very white. I'm like, ah. Do you know what I mean? Like a silvery colour. I'm like, I don't want a silvery colour. I want like a nice bronze. I might go in with that bronzy one now, like those two dark ones. Just to like sort of fix this a bit. That's better. I'm going to spray this on my face. This is the Technic Illuminating Skin Mist with gold flakes in it. Lovely. We like to have that. Mmm. That's quite lovely. Oh, the smell of the this range. I'm pretty sure this is the collab with Steph Tom's. I'm pretty sure that this was the collab with her. I'm not gonna touch my brows or do anything with them. I'm gonna put lips on next. I'm gonna put Morphe sweet tea on. Don't why I even have to look. Then I'm gonna put the Diego Dalla Palma lipstick on in the shade Dance Dreamer. Dance Dreamer Lipstick Soft Nude, that's what it just says. This is a pinky colour, so I don't know how this is going to look. I'll just like tap it on instead. I don't like this too, I think I'm dead. Ah. 
<gasps> oh my god, what is this lip combination? Is this my new like favourite? Oh my god. I love it. Oh my god. I'm pretty sure this is available on Look Fantastic as well, the whole range. Um you know, like all the stuff that I've used from their range, like the blush and everything like that. Because they're actually like, they're an Italian brand and they're just like, the products are just well made. And like, do you know what it's just like, you, it's just so easy to apply and it's not too, I mean, look at my blush. Oh my God, I just love the products, I really do. All the products will be down below in the description. I have took time to type that all out, so I hope you guys appreciate it. If you like this video, don't forget to go down below and give me a thumbs up. It just lets my video be shared to more people. If you like it, it'll sh like send it to somebody else, basically. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching, and I shall see you guys in my next one. Thank you, Lord, for all you do for me, for all you've done for me, for how you love me.